So this is a little bit of a different type of uh, driven episode. We're here at the American Le Mans Series paddock at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. And some of you may or may not know, but we actually are the team responsible for producing the uh, recap videos for the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup. It's round three of the IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yoga Harmer. It's a great looking two by two start as they come down to the start line. The green flag is waved in the air and we are racing over 123 miles an hour. It takes a lot for us to get here in terms of our equipment. Um, all told, we travel with about 300 pounds of gear to every event we go to, especially races. Oh, oh yeah, everything's perfectly where it should be. <laughs> and uh, you get a great look at the cars coming to the top of the corkscrew, those BBS alloys glinting in the California sunshine. So what you're going to be seeing uh, in this episode is actually the behind the scenes look of how a production comes together, not only from a physical how to shoot uh, a certain shot uh, point of view, but also from the relationships. It comes down to having discussions with drivers, with crew members, and trying to develop a story around a series. Races are races, but it's the people behind the scenes that actually make them special. And that's our job, is to really tell those stories and their stories. So, hope you enjoy it. The Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama moves to Laguna Sega and Mazda Raceway for rounds three and four. The most important aspect of our job is to gain the trust of not only the drivers, but also the crew members. We work in tight, confined areas in these paddocks, and we don't want to get in their way. If you get in their way, they're going to get pissed off. They have a job to do just like we have to get a job done. We also are interacting with the cars a lot, putting the cameras in, getting shots, and we're getting shots of things that may not specifically be good for the team in terms of suspension setup, in terms of the way they're, they're doing certain things. Yes, this is a spec series, but there are certain things that the teams can do to gain an advantage that is legal and by the rules. So we have to be cautious as to what we film, making sure that we maintain that trust. Being that we are not only in this paddock, but all the team's paddocks, we see things that each other team doesn't get to see about their competitors. And we have to maintain that trust. If we don't do that, well then we don't get our job done and our trust kind of goes out the window. Take, yeah, up. We're get, we're, we were tending towards oversteer. And so as the race goes on, we don't want to get too far. We don't want to start out too much yeah, oversteer. Yeah. We want to be a little under. Cool. And they know I'm coming in the meeting. I'm not just like walking yeah. in. No, no, they, they know. And they're they're like, I don't like to go on trail. I know, I know, I know. It's already clear. Okay, cool. Cool, all right. Sounds good. We have to establish, we have to establish uh, they're trusting us and not saying don't film this. Rather, don't include this in the edit. Yeah. We're going to film everything. Yeah, so when they, so yeah. Film it all and then, you know, when you know it's your time to leave, just walk out. I need to change this. I got this mic uh, set for track noise. <laughs> so one of my responsibilities here when we're shooting uh, uh, IMSA GT3 Cup is mounting in-car cameras. So let me show you uh, what we use for that. It's really important when doing this is that you have a proper heavy-duty roll bar mount, not a plastic GoPro mount, um, and in fact, we don't even like using GoPros, we use contours. A little bit more rugged, a little bit sturdier. So the other thing that's important um, is, as you can see, this is an active, uh, active garage, uh, and the crew are obviously constantly working on the cars all weekend, so it's really important for us to, um, you know, make sure we stay out of their way, and although they love us for making them work, look good uh, on camera, um, we're, we're always kind of trying to work with them, make sure we're not, we're not interrupting this stuff. So while they're taking a break, I'm going to sneak in this car, mount this camera, and get it all ready to go. Now one of the most important things about this, obviously, is making sure everything is super, super tight and locked down because you can't have anything moving around in the car. It's really, really, obviously, dangerous for the driver. Um, and if it's dangerous for the driver, it means it's dangerous for everyone else on the track as well. Master, so he didn't want to hold him up, but in doing so, he lost, it cost himself a couple of positions. I'm sure that wasn't the plan, but meanwhile, you're right. This is a battle case of Corbin just about holding off Colin Thompson. So, although all the action at a race may seem like it's in the paddock, 
What really makes the race come to life is actually called the TV compound. And the TV compound is usually somewhere in the center of the whole track to make it easy for producers and cameramen to get to from wherever they are in the vicinity of, uh, of the track. Um, so that's where we're heading right now. We usually arrive 30 to 45 minutes before the race. If we get there too early, it's pretty busy. And what we do, I meet up with Leo, we, we start discussing the qualification. Um, we start looking at where the guys are in the track in the, in the uh, qualifying order to determine where the story's gonna be. And that's what we're gonna go do right now. We should get a shot of the gold class leader. Car number uh, 36. Fourth car from the rear. White and red, I think. Uh, that's it. Yep, by the way, I'm looking for a turn six shot. Not, not to go to it, I just want to know which camera. Let's go back to the front of field. Thank you. 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 Pause and then lay in as we get to 11. Guys, this could be one lap in green. It's gone. And lay out your second pause and go. Pick it up. Thank you. Too hot. He's got it. Anything else happening? Oh, he's going to lose it. Oh! Oh! That was Vinny. Benitez, that was Benitez just hit. Go to two and three. Benitez got slow on four. Benitez is in four. Of course. Try to get uh, Benitez on five. Yeah. That's our points leader. The headlights in turn three. He's not leaking anything. I don't think. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's a tire? It's rubbing. Yeah. It's leaking. It's done. It's, it's done. Yes, if you could. Yeah, freeze him. Yeah. Take 25. And take 25 going to the pits because he's done. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you, Leo. Roll. Yep. Let's take another look at this. The blue car is very trying to come around the outside and he almost got What's it done. Got angle? the right hand wheels onto the dirt here. That set him spinning around at the Miles Marauding. Miles at that point is a passenger. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, it's good. Sorry, thank you. Yeah. Came through quite late there. Turn 11. You're absolutely right. There's one Shuffling around going there. Around there in the Mario Andretti hairpin. Uh, and it was yeah, really unfair well. start of the race. It was a, a, a pouring Thank you, Billy. Awesome. Stay with him. He's probably going to get out of the car. Uh, yeah, he got himself out on the curbs and lost control on the curbs, trying to tuck in behind the Madison Snow. We should get uh, Miles Moroni coming out. Oh, and back to 11. One, please. One, please. But the big news is that 25 car in the pits, two wins at the start of the championship. Yeah. That's your championship leader right there who's in the pit lane yeah, in this, in the, without the lap being completed.
in, in, in round number three here. That, that's a big, that's a headline right there. Yeah, a major disaster there for a 23-year-old and her Andres Benitez, and uh, that is exactly what he did. You know, he just, you know, when you're in the lead of the championship, Can you have the season, what you need uh, to do one is one go to the, the number, the, the, the Sloan Uri car. He's in the pits, the um, 20 in the pits. He was getting out of the car and getting like, it's certainly good to see that he's okay, at least. There is a blue car, yeah. Yeah, layoff, yeah. I was just going to lead into that. The one that started the conflagration at the exit of turn two from the Andretti hairpin on lap number one. We're under full course caution. It's round three of the Inter GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama. I was going to say watch the outside of turn one, but Yuri was so, so far back. He can pick it up and then we'll, we'll come back to him when we go to green. After half a dozen laps of full course caution and he's got a fantastic start. Thompson in second place, unable to stay with the pole sitter as they head down to the scene of the crime from the first part. Again, it's all as you were with Snow, Thompson, Freiburg, Mills, Cisneros, Coombe and the best. Uh, and uh, Tess, is, Tess was doing a nice pan across. Yeah, that certainly makes a difference, but nobody doing anything silly at all. They're just you know, being respectful of each other. You know, it, it's a low grip race track here. The man's race made it a sacred. Never has an awful lot of time. Watch. This traffic is going to bounce. This is the only stage in the season. It's never too early. Oh, so like that, that like that. Like that. Locks with the left pick with that. He was going to try that. Hey, as a young child. That's a piece of the under tray from one of those two cars. I think it's from Thompson. Oh, it's Mills. It's Thompson to the right front. Oh, the right there as well. He was running up in the top six. Now you're going to hold. You're going to hold. Next single car. Oh, that's Goldman's gone around. He's going to hit the wall. Take gold winner here, go to the flag, on the hill, race two, Well, action, an excitement, an incident on the first corner of the first lap. I don't know if you can see them, but there are totally some umbrella girls. Have to get the shot of the umbrella girls. Uh, it's part of my contract with Tangent Vector. I need a longer lens. Longer.